Today on Hack Tip, we are setting up TCP dump in Linux. This episode of Hack Tip is brought to you by Atlassian. Welcome to Hack Tip, the show where we break down concepts, tools, and techniques for hackers, gurus, and IT ninjas. I am Shannon Morrison. Today we are checking out and setting up TCP dump and some simple commands. TCP dump is the obvious new thing that we will discover after dealing with Wireshark for so very long. It works just like Wireshark, except TCP dump is in the command line for Linux machines. A similar program is available for Windows machines. It's called WinDump, but it is not available for Windows 10. At least it won't work on my machine, unfortunately. It will literally dump traffic from a network into your terminal session, so you don't have to download any extra GUIs for this to work. TCP dump will print out a description of all of the contents of all the packets that it is capturing preceded by a timestamp. So it's very similar to what you would see in Wireshark. You can save the data into a file, you can capture a specific amount of packets, you can pretty much do whatever you want. Expressions are used with TCP dump to print out only the packets that match your criteria, so you can customize it as much as you want as well. And to install, and this is pretty obvious, I'm not gonna lie, it's sudo apt get install tcp dump. I know, that was easy, wasn't it? Now I am using sudo, not sudo su, that's what I prefer. You can use sudo su if you choose to do so. Now you can also visit tcpdump.org for the newest releases and links to the GitHub for their development. Luckily, TCP dump is free and it is open source. There is a very useful man page for TCP dump as well in case you wanna learn all the different expressions. And as usual with every other <laughs> Linux command that we have out there, it is man TCP dump. And that'll give you this nice long man page. Now I would highly suggest reading through here because there is a ton of really good information on here. Obviously, we don't have time to get through everything on here, but I'm gonna give you a general overview of some of the popular ways to use it. So, let's go ahead and get started. First off, we're gonna type sudo, of course, sudo tcp dump, tac i, wlan zero. Let's let that run, run for a moment. Sudo is going to let TCP dump go ahead and run with admin privileges. TCP dump is obviously the program that we are using. Tech I right after that is the interface. So that allows us to suggest a specific interface that we want to use. And then WLAN zero is obviously the specific interface that we will be using to run our TCP dump command. Now, if you don't know what interface you are connected with, you can type ifconfig to find the one that has a result resolved IP address, or if you want to see all of them, you can do so in TCP dump. You can just simply type sudo TCP dump. I'll actually type this in for you, sudo TCP dump, and then ah, tac capital D, and this is going to list them all for you again. Now you can use the number instead of the name for tac I. So for example, if I just want to use WLAN zero, I can type in number two, because that's the second interface that I have on my computer, and then hit enter, and it should give me a very similar packet capture as I did before. Now we are going to get a whole bunch of different packet captures for this wireless network, including some from other computers and the network router, if there are other computers connected to this network. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this run for a little bit so I can show you some examples right after this break. Whether you're genome mapping or 3D printing or you're into space exploration or maybe you're just planning your next team off-site, behind every single human achievement there is some kind of team. A big team or a small team. So this big question is how do you bring everybody together to build what's next? And the solution of course is Atlassian. You can unleash your team's potential with Atlassian's collaboration software so you can work and you can communicate so much better together because that's how we get along. You know, we work together, we communicate together. You can assign, you can track, you can manage tasks for any project, no matter how complex. That's the clarity of Jira. You can create and share content, you can 
organize results and you can bring team members up to speed with the flexibility of Confluence. Or you can instant message and video chat with your team from pretty much any device with the freedom of HipChat. Or you can test, review, and manage code in real time with the power of Bitbucket, which just got an update today. Awesome! Atlassian is helping teams in every industry from startup to enterprise turn great ideas into reality. I've been using Bitbucket to share code snippets with my coworkers to get their feedback so we can talk about what's going on and we can build better tutorials for you guys for future episodes of Hack Tip. Now you can go to Atlassian.com to learn more and see how Jira, Confluence, HipChat, and Bitbucket give your team everything you need to organize, discuss, and complete shared work. That's Atlassian.com. Unleash the potential in your team and build what's next. We are back once TCP Dump has captured all of those packets that you want it to. You can hit Control C to stop it. Don't worry, I won't leave you hanging. <laughs> now from left to right, let's go ahead and explain what is going on in one of these packets. So if we go back to my computer, you'll see the timestamp over on the left, and this is going to be in hours, minutes, seconds, and milliseconds. I'll get into how you can change that in a future uh, segment. Now next is the protocol for the packet IP. So that's going to be ARP for this example, or IP. I think that's pretty much all I have going on here is ARP requests and then IPs. If available, you will see a port right after that. And lastly, you will see information about the packet. Now you may be wondering why I get names of computers instead of IP addresses for the IP line. So I see snubs, aspire, local, not the IP line, peplink.domain, and yada, yada, yada. So TCP dump will automatically resolve host names, but we can stop that from happening with TAC N, which means don't convert addresses to names. So if you want to gain more information with just a one one-liner or more than just a one-liner about each and every packet, you can also use TAC V to make your command more verbose. V is very popular in Linux commands. Now, for example, uh, the time to live, the identification, the total length and options in an IPF packet are going to be printed with verbose. Lastly, you can also add TAC E for link level headers on each dump line, and this can be used, for example, to print MAC layer addresses for protocols, such as Ethernet and IEEE 802.11. Now also, if you want to print your packets in ASCII, which is totally possible, you can type TAC capital A, and I'll show you how to do that. For example, I'll type TAC V for verbose and TAC capital A for ASCII. We'll see what happens. Okay. So it looks a little bit confusing, but this is going to print each and every packet minus its link level header, of course, in ASCII. So this can be very, very handy if, for example, you need to capture web page information. Now let me know what you think or how you use TCP dump. Next week, I am going to discuss how to use filtering, which is super fun. You can always send me a comment below or you can email us tips at hack5.org. And be sure to check out our sister show, Hack5, for more great stuff just like this. We're actually building drones over there. It's a lot of fun. I will be there reminding you to trust your technolust. <laughs>